Hi everyone, in the CPJET Microbiology Important MCQs, in this video we will go with the series 3 containing 25 important questions. Let's begin. First question, bacterial ribosomes are consisting of options are A rRNA protein, B mRNA protein, C DNA protein, tRNA protein. So obviously the answer will be rRNA protein so because it's a bacterial ribosome so ribosome contains rRNA plus protein 2 cell theory was proposed by options are a Robert Hook B Swanson C Clayton and Swan D Gru and Malfrigi so we know that Robert Hook is involved in the discovery of cell but not the cell theory then Swanson is uh, involved in discovery of literature based discovery in the 1980s. Then Sclidon and Swan are the one who proposed the cell theory. And coming to the Gru and Malfrigi, Gru is one of the pioneer of uh, dactyloscopy and Malfrigi is uh, the first person to see the blood capillaries in the fish tail. That means he is, was involved in the discovery of the link between the arteries and the veins. So obviously the answer is Sclidon and Swan was the one person who proposed the cell theory. Question number three, V-shaped structures are seen in bacillus division or call. Options are A snapping, B slanting, C slipping, D shortening. And here the answer is the snapping. V-shaped structures are going to be found in the Corynebacterium diphtheriae cultures. So here we know that the Corynebacterium diphtheria is the causative agent of uh, diphtheria disease and the characteristic forming irregular or club shaped or V shaped arrangements in normal growth. So that's the characteristic uh, feature of this bacteria and these V shaped or the Corynebacterium diphtheria undergo snapping movement just after the cell division which brings them into the characteristic forms resembling the Chinese letters or Pali sex. So obviously that is the answer. Next fourth question. Microbodies are also called. Microbodies are also called. Options are A. Centrosomes, B. Endosomes, C. Mesosomes, D. Peroxisomes. So what will be the answer? The microbodies are also called as a cytosomes. So here the cytosomes are not there. So obviously it goes with the peroxisomes. So the microbodies are also called as peroxisomes. So here these uh, peroxisomes or the microbodies are generally small organelles found in animals and the plant cells. So what they will do? So these peroxisomes are going to break down the organic molecules by the process of oxidation to produce the hydrogen peroxide. So this is going to occur quickly convert into the oxygen and the water. So first of all, they will oxidize the hydrogen peroxide giving rise to the oxygen and water. And these peroxisomes are going to produce the cholesterol and the phospholipids in brain and the heart tissue. That means the peroxisomes that are present in the brain and heart tissue are going to produce the cholesterol as well as the phospholipids. And they're also involved in preventing the formation of kidney stones in the kidneys. And then uh, in some sort of the plants, these peroxisomes convert the fatty acids to carbohydrates. And there was a certain uh, research that this uh, rarely inherited malfunctioning of these peroxisomes can lead to the depth of the person. Then fifth question. Viruses those persist in the cell and cause recurrent diseases are considered. Options are A. Latent, B. Resistant, C. Oncogenic, D. Cytopathic. So obviously the one which is going to persist in the cell and cause the recurrent diseases are going to be considered as latent. Sixth question. An obligate halophile requires high dash obligate halophile. So options are pressure, B temperature, C salt, D pH. So we know the halophile is going to be related to the salt. So the answer is the salt. If it is a pressure, then it is going to be a barophile. If it is a temperature, we can have the mesophile, psychrophile or the thermophile. If it is a pH, it is going to be neutrophil, basophil or the neutrophil, basophil or acidophile. 
Then the seventh question, lipid coat covering on the capsid of a virus is called. Lipid coat covering on the capsid of a virus is called. Options are A, capsid, B, matrix, C, envelope, D, capsule. So obviously capsid is there. So the outer covering of this capsid is going to be called as envelope. Eight, antiseptic methods were first introduced by antiseptic methods were first introduced by options are Lister that is Joseph Lister, B. Bajernik, C. Edward Jenner, D. Ivanovsky. So Bajernik and Ivanovsky is not at all related to this antiseptic methods. Edward Jenner was involved with the vaccination. So what's the option here? Joseph Lister is the first person who introduced the antiseptic methods. That's why he was also called as father of antiseptic surgery. Ninth question. Ultra high temperatures UHT in pasteurization is what is the temperature of ultra high temperature? Options are A 141 degrees centigrade for 2 seconds, B 71 degrees centigrade for 15 seconds, option C 62.8 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes, D 120 degrees centigrade for 50 minutes. So obviously ultra high temperature is the flash high temperature so or flash temperature which was used in the dairy milk. Uh, to pasteurize it so what is the temperature here is 141 degrees centigrade for two seconds tenth question an example to nitrogen fixing free living aerobic bacterium so read the question properly it's a nitrogen fixing free living aerobic bacterium that they are asking so options are here rhizobium b azotobacter c clostridium d nitrobacter so we know that the rhizobium is an anaerobic bacteria though it is going to be an aerobic condition but it is going to fix the nitrogen only in the anaerobic condition and it is a symbiote. So in the symbiotic association only it will fix the nitrogen. So this option is wrong. Then moving to the azotobacter, we know that the azotobacter is a free living aerobic nitrogen fixer. So what is the answer here? It's the azotobacter. Then moving to the clostridium, it is a free living anaerobic nitrogen fixing bacteria clostridium is a free living bacteria but it is going to fix the nitrogen in the anaerobic condition then what about the nitrobacter so nitrobacter is going to convert the nitrites into the nitrates so here the answer is the azotobacter which is a free living aerobic bacterium involved in the nitrogen fixation 11 pions are located in which region of gram negative bacteria that is porins so which are going to be located in which region of gram negative bacteria options are outer membrane b inner membrane c cytoplasmic d nuclear so we know that the porins of uh, gram negative bacteria are located in the outer membrane region that is lps region lipopolysaccharide region 12th deployed genome is present in the following virus deployed genome is present in the following virus options are a tmv that is tobacco mosaic virus b fmdv that is foot and mouth disease virus hiv human immunodeficiency virus hbv that is hepatitis b virus so they are asking in which virus you are going to see the deployed genome so if you absorb the TME that is tobacco mosaic virus the genetic material or genome is single standard RNA so that's the wrong answer then coming to the FMDV that is foot and mouth disease virus it is also a single standard RNA virus so it is also wrong then HIV is also a single standard RNA though they are uh, double but it is a single standard RNA so what will be the answer here HBV that is hepatitis B virus which poses double standard DNA as a genetic material. 13th, Western blotting technique is used to identify. Options are A, DNA, B, DNA and RNA, C, RNA, D, proteins. So the Western blotting technique is going to be used in identifying the proteins. Then what is the technique that is used to identify the DNA? So it is going to be of our southern blotting and the RNA is going to be uh, recognized or identified by the technique called as northern blotting so just remember these names also the proteins are going to be uh, identified by western blot technique dna by southern blot technique 
and RNA by northern blot technique. Then 14th question, which of the following is a gram-negative pathogenic cocci? Options are A. Streptococcus pneumoniae, B. Micrococcus, C. Cerveceous species, D. Neseria meningitis. So we know the first three are going to be coming as gram-positive. So obviously the answer is going to be Neseria meningitis is a gram-negative pathogenic cocci. 15th question. Acid fast training was first described by options are A. Waxman, B. Graham, C. Z. Nielsen, D. Ehrlich. So what will be the answer here? It's nothing but the Zeal Nielsen. So that's why the acid fast training is also called as Zeal Nielsen straining, which is used to identify the mycobacterium species, which are going to be the acid fast bacteria. 16. The sterilization method which kills the microbes primarily by DNA damage is options are A dry heat, B boiling, C UV radiation, D filtration. So what will be the answer here? UV irradiation is the method by which the DNA damage is going to occur. 17. Golden era of microbiology was during the period of Options are A. 1880 to 1920, 1800 to 1850, 1925 to 1980, D. 1755 to 1800. So obviously here the golden era of microbiology was during the period of 1880 to 1920 where our Louis Pasteur, Edward Jenner, all the uh, Robert Koch comes under this one. Then 18th, viruses infecting blue-green algae are called viruses infecting blue green algae are called options are a mycophages b bacteriophages c blue phases d cyanophages so here the mycophages means the viruses which are affecting the fungi are going to be considered as mycophages and bacteriophages means the uh, viruses which are going to attack the bacteria are called as bacteriophages Blue phases means, I'll tell you, then coming to the cyanophases, so cyanophase means cyanobacteria which belongs to the blue-green algae. So here the answer is the cyanophases. Then what is a blue phase? So blue phase is a rapid method for the detection of somatic coleophases used as indicators of uh, fecal pollution in water. Okay, then moving to the 19th, Nobel Prize for the Artificial Synthesis of Gene was awarded to Options are A. Kohrana, B. Korenberg, C. Crick, D. Waxman. So here obviously the answer is the Kohrana. So Hargobin Kohrana in the 1972, he was the first one who uh, proposed this artificial synthesis of the gene in the East tRNA by the technique called a solar phase DNA synthesis method. Okay. 20th question. Nitrogenase is the enzyme that contains options are A. Copper, B. Manganese, C. Potassium, D. Molybdenum. So here the answer is molybdenum. So the enzyme here nitrogenase is going to consist of two component metalloproteins called the iron that is one of the protein also called dinitrogenase reductase or component 2 and second one is the molybdenum iron that is MOFE protein also called as dinitrogenase or component 1. So here the following if uh, iron is also given so that's also right only. 21. Bacterial proteins that destroy other bacteria. Bacterial protein that destroys other bacteria. Obviously, we know that is nothing but the bacterial sins. 22nd. Reduction of nitrates to gaseous nitrogen by bacteria is called. Reduction of nitrates to gaseous nitrogen by bacteria is called. So, here you are going to have the reverse of it where we are going to call it as denitrification method 23 plasmids are responsible for options are a cell division b cell respiration c cell metabolism d drug resistance so obviously we know the plasmids are responsible for drug resistance whereas the cell division cell respiration and the cell metabolism are directly linked with the genetic material or the uh, main chromosomal thing 24 which of the following are contained in the outer membrane of the bacteria 
which of the following are contained in the outer membrane of the bacteria options are a tachyoic acid b lipopolysaccharides c peptidoglycans d capsules so which of the following are contained in the outer membrane of the bacteria they are asking so obviously it is lipopolysaccharides 25 ta ta et that is tata et sequence in prokaryotes is also known as options are a tata box b transcript box c adeno box d pribno box so what will be the answer here it's nothing but the pribno box so this pribno box is also known as pribno scalar box is a sequence of tata et of six nucleotides that is thymine adenine thymine adenine adenine thymine like this and it is an essential part of a promoter site on dna for transcription to occur in the bacteria so this is all about the series 3 then in the next series that is series 4 we will go with the few more 25 important questions thank you